control your mind. Man's mind influences his body profoundly. If allowed to function, the viciously can entertain and wholesome thoughts. Mind can cause disaster, can even kill a being, but it can also cure a sick body. When the mind is concentrated on right thoughts with right effort and understanding the effect it can produce is immense. A mind with pure and wholesome thoughts really does lead to healthy, relaxed living, Buddha says. No enemy can harm one so much as one's own thoughts of craving, thoughts of hate, thoughts of jealousy and so on. A man who does not know how to adjust his mind according to circumstances would be like a corpse in a coffin. Turn your mind to yourself, and try to find pleasure within yourself, and you will always find therein an infinite source of pleasure ready for your enjoyment. It is only when the mind is controlled and is kept to the right road of orderly progress that it becomes useful for its possessor and for society. A disorderly mind is a liability both to its owner and to others. All the havoc wrought in the world is created by men who have not learned the way of mind control, balance and poise. Calmness is not weakness. A calm attitude at all times shows a man of culture. It is not too hard for man to be calm when things are favorable, but to be composed when things are wrong is hard indeed, and it is this difficult quality that is worth achieving. For by such calm and control he builds up strength of character. It is quite wrong to imagine that they alone are strong and powerful who are noisy, garrulous and fussily busy. Act wisely. Man must know how to use his youth, wealth, power, energy and knowledge at the proper time, at the proper place and in the proper way for his own benefit, and for the benefit and welfare of the others as well. If he misuses such privileges, it will only cause his own downfall. Man must be strong enough to know when he is weak, brave enough to encounter fear, proud and unbending in honest defeat humble and gently in victory. So people through a sudden stroke of fortune receive a large sum of money are endowed with some property, or they might inherit a large share of the property from the parents, but amongst them only a very few would know how to preserve and maintain such newly acquired property. Normally property that is easily acquired without their own effort and labor has no real value to them. Therefore they will start to spend the money on unnecessary things and very soon the whole property will be squandered. People must know how to handle the property without wasting it, and for that they must use a little bit of the common sense. 